Welcome to Week 8, Action Bets, ACT. I-O-N. That's action. We got it here for you today. God bless y'all. Halloween, it's around the corner. And I'm telling you right now, we have the picks for you. I'm telling you. We're going to work it today. But before we get into what we're going to talk about, let's talk about the teams that looked atrocious last week. Mm. The Chargers at the goal line. Multiple times. The Falcons against the Rams. A horrible team. Ugh. The Eagles. What happened to the freaking Eagles? They're all done. They're 11. Mm. I think I, I believe they're 11 or they're 12 and 11 since they won the Super Bowl. The Bengals. Ugh. Put them in the river. Ugh. And the Broncos. Been in the river. The Broncos. About? A horrible team. But the worst of all oh. was the Jets being done three oh. minutes into Monday Night Football. Oh. They were done. They were done, oh, I tell man. you. Dar was, Darnold was, man, he looked brutal. He was just throwing the ball away because he didn't want to have Darnold any Darnold was in a different world. He was on the man. shit. Wow. Darnold was on the shit he that night. He was on the, some kind of shit. I don't he, know if he was, was on, on the, the shit He was on the good shit. shit. I don't know, bro. But. He was seeing things. He was seeing ghosts. Forget about it. James, well, anyway, yes. we got three picks each this week. Let's work it right now. Tommy, who's your first pick of the week? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to Denver versus Colts. Speaking about bad teams, I'm going against the Broncos here. The Colts are only minus six points here. I'm looking at myself going, am I missing something here? Because the Colts are good. They beat Houston 30-23 to last week, and Houston's a much better team than Denver. So beating the you know Houston by seven last week, I mean, Denver got smoked at home. I mean, when I mean smoked, I mean they got rolled up and smoked, oh, yeah, Captain. Definitely. You well, know, Casey beat them so bad that I, they got to be so Without good. Mahomes. Oh, my God. Without you Mahomes. know, good point. But Brissett, Mack, T.Y. Hilton, their main weapon uh, on, on the offensive wide receiver side back. So Joe Flacco, six TDs, five interceptions. How can I go with that? I'm going with the Colts. Minus six here, my man Elvis, a.k.a. the captain. Thank Tell you very much. Your next pick. My, my first, first pick. My first pick is going to be the over. Over, we're going over in the Texans Raiders game. If you watched both those games last week, you know that neither of these teams can stop anybody. This over under is 51 and a half. It's going to be inside at the Texans. So that thing is going to go O V E R over the Texans and the Raiders over 51 and a half. Tommy, who's your second? Hey, pick? I'm on it. I'm on it. Hey, I got, I'm going to. New York versus the Lions here, Captain. And guess what? I don't love this game. I don't like either one of these teams that much, but I don't care for either one's defense. So I'm looking at the over in this game. Both teams allowing 400-plus yards a game. Lions allowing 30, 22, 30, and 24 points in the last four games, allowing points. The Giants ain't much better. Hey, I know, but the Giants are going to be there, so I think I'm going to go on the over here. 49 and a half while it's hot. You better get on it. Yeah, I'm going to go up. Over uh, 49 over. and a half, Lions, Giants in Detroit. Captain, who do you got for your next one? Going on a short week. Jets go from... Home, where they lost 33 to nothing. Boy, that 33 pool that hit twice for uh, for New England this year. I guess all 33 pools are over now. But I'm going to go going into Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew, that kid comes in here, and I want to tell you, minus six against the Jets. Jets showed me nothing. They they looked like a rank amateur high school team playing out here in the river. They looked horrible. I was going to take Jacksonville minus six. Against the Jets. That's my second pick. Oh. Who do you like in this? Oh. Who's your third pick, bro? Oh, my third pick is going to be why I'm wearing this outfit here. I'm going to be, I'm Uncle Tommy for all those Patriot fans yes, out there. Yes, Uncle Tommy. Call me Uncle Tommy, and I salute you. Yeah. I'm not a Patriots fan. Actually, I hate the He's Patriots. He's a masshole. I, I know. I do not like the Patriots. You are a masshole. You're a masshole, Captain. No, you're Say a you're masshole. Don't get me upset, Captain. But anyways, Uncle Tommy says the Patriots are rolling. This defense is so good. Man, They we haven't seen a defense like this for Bill Belichick, and I can't remember when. No, you haven't when. seen a defense like this since 1929. <laughs> that, they're, they're that good. And now their offense, you said well, they, they picked up a couple weapons. Mohamed Sanu. Sanu, Gordon Sanu. will be coming back Gordon's eventually. Gordon's coming back. They re-signed Watson. He's going to be better Man. this week than he was last week. But uh, no, that's a strong team. They're on a roll. They're at home. Uh, well, a, Baker Mayfield, let me tell coming, you why. You know, let me tell you, normally you'd think a, a team coming off 
a a week off is is going to be on point. But that's not always the case. Uh, you're looking at teams under 500 coming off a bye week over the last three years in the NFL. Wow, pretty nice little information there, Captain. But Baker Mayfield is my concern here because this New New England uh, secondary is stout. I mean, talk you may about... See, you may see a, a Donald Jr. because Baker, you know, he's one of those guys that throws the ball around the park too. He's got the most interceptions in the league right now, and it's going to be difficult, very difficult, especially if Gilmore on one side, McCourty on the other, those guys single them up, you take away the field. The only, only thing is going to be the screen pass and the, and the option to go over the middle with the tight end. Yeah, and you talked about McCourty, five interceptions right now, and there's actually four guys on the back uh, secondary with two interceptions or more for New England. They have, so saying 20, that, they have 25 turnovers. I mean, did you watch year. Sam Darnold? I mean, he was just hopeless at the end of that game. And guess what? Baker Mayfield, five TDs, 11 interceptions. I don't think he's going to have any luck See, going into New England. If I'm Gase, I take him out of there because that, God bless listen, America. that mind, that mind after him right there. That mind of that, that Darnold, he could be mind. I pledge allegiance I'm to the flag. You. The United States of Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Uncle, Uncle Tommy. Tommy. That's Uncle Tommy Uncle to you. Tommy. Uncle Tommy. Minus 13 Patriots against the Browns, Captain. That's what I got. Okay. Uh, who do you got for your last pick my here? Last... Happy Halloween, everybody, by the way. That's why we're in these silly costumes. My, la my last pick, I'm telling you right here. You got West Coast going, East Coast going to West Coast. Once again, off a bye, which I don't like. I like that team coming in. Carolina goes into... Uh, San Francisco, it's only five and a half. It should be higher, but I'm going to take the five and a half. That's a great defense they got out there, too. Those two defenses, New England on the AFC, San Francisco on the NFC, these two defenses can't be doing anything wrong. And I want to tell you, that Nick Bosa, that is a freaking animal they got down there. The number one pick they got for San Francisco. What a game he had last week. Look for a big game this week as uh, the 49ers and the Panthers play. That rookie's got a lot to. He's he's done a lot for taking over for Cam Newton. But Allen, he's got a. It's a different animal this it's a week. Battle. Different battle. animal this week. That's the number one defense in the NFC, and he's gonna have to do a heck of a job. I, I see a couple of those Darnell-esque kind of plays coming up this weekend. So I'm going with the 49ers minus five and a half. Tommy, you want to recap for us? Yeah, let's go. I got Denver uh, Colts. I'm going Colts minus six at home. I'm also gonna go with the New York Lions. Uh, the New York Lions, and that's the, the Giants versus the Lions, and that's the over. And then I'm also going to go with the Patriots, even though I hate them. Minus 13, Uncle Tommy says, go Patriots for this game. I salute you. Captain, who do you like, Elvis? Uh, I want to tell you something right now. The Texans and the Raiders are going to go over 51 and a half. I like the Jaguars minus six against the Jets. And the 49ers, the late game on the West Coast, which is the best coast. Uh, uh, over to the, uh, the Carolina Panthers, minus five and a half, 49ers, minus five and a half. And take those three bets, bet them flat. We love you here at Action Bets, ACT. I would. That's what we got. Happy Halloween to one and all, and may your next ticket be a cash in one. Like the farmer told the tater, plant you now and dig you later. Boom. Mm. All right. Oops, wrong way.